Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Let's talk about combining projects in Adobe Premiere Pro. Working with multiple projects and combining them is very, very easy in Premiere Pro and you have a lot of choices. Here's my recommendation first before you start combining projects is make sure the ones you're, you're importing are clean. That means they don't have extra stuff you don't need. Um, you've removed any consolidates and uh, um, any unused clips if, if you don't need them. So I'm going to show you to, how to do that in this sequence that I have open. I also think it's a good idea, and it, this is a good troubleshooting tip, it's a good idea to start with a blank project and then import. I'm going to show you that after I show you this project and what we need to clean it up. So I've got three different uh, timelines in this particular project. And of course, I've got folders with all my media sequences and music. In the edit menu, there are two important choices, remove unused and consolidate duplicates. I'm going to choose consolidate duplicates, although I don't think it did anything because there, there are no duplicates. And remove unused is grayed out because Premiere Pro knows there are no unused clips. An unused clip is a clip that's in the project bin that's not in a timeline anywhere in the project. That's not necessarily a bad thing. Sometimes you have a whole bunch of B-roll you haven't even used yet, um, and you don't want to remove that. But if this is a project that you need to clean things up, um, then do both of those, resave it, and then it's ready for importing. All right, so I am going to close this project. And create a new blank project. I'll put it into there. Click OK. All right, nothing big here. It's just a new blank open project. The media browser is where you want to go to import your projects. So let's do that. In the editing workspace, the media browser is down here. If you don't see the media browser, then look for it in here, right there, if it's closed. And that's where we're going to look for our projects. You, you basically look through your hard drive internal, external, wherever, and find the projects you want. So that folder shows the, this, this content here. If I twirl this down, I can also see the projects in here. If you just want to import a single project, right click on it and choose import. If you select the project over on the left, then the contents will be shown on the right. And it takes a moment, depending on how complicated this project is, uh, to see what's in it. So in this particular project, there's one uh, timeline, a folder of media, and um, a song. So I can open that up. I can import that that way. But you can import the whole project just by right-clicking and choosing Import and you get a dialog box that gives you some choices. Import entire projects, or just the selected sequences, or import as a project shortcut, which we're not going to use, but we'll use the uh, whole thing. We can also create a folder for the imported items, and we can allow importing duplicates and do the same for all the projects. So if you had multiple projects selected right now, these options would, would apply to all of them. And I like the idea, if I'm just going to import it, something quick, I don't make a folder, but we started a blank project, wouldn't it make sense to have all of those new projects in folders? So let's do that. I'll cancel that and I'll shift select all three of these, right click, import. We'll import the entire project and we'll create folders for those imported items. Click OK.
Oh, do the same for all of the projects. All right, and there we go. If we open these up, we can see our sequences are in here. Immediately save this project. Don't continue working right now. You've started with a blank project, which you saved, but you've brought everything inside it now, so you should immediately save this new project. And I'll just Control S, Command S, or you go to the File menu and Save. At this point, you could consolidate duplicates and remove unused. You know, maybe Premiere Pro found once you imported all of this stuff, then it's it's found some duplicates or or um, there are some unused footage that you might not need. But that's really all you have to do to combine projects. And we could take this project and combine it in another one with all three of these. Um, you could remove different parts out of this. So if I find that I don't want that, which is all of the media and the sequence, then I could delete that and I could save that now. And if I wanted to, I can go back and import that. You can also import just parts of things. So if we go back to the media browser, we open this up simply by clicking on it here. Like I said before, it opens. I could just import that media file folder. So there it is. That's all the media that was inside that project. There's the music. I could even double click on this and load it into the source monitor. And you'll notice that the, the name of this sequence has source monitor in it, meaning I'm opening a sequence into the source monitor, but I haven't imported it. What would you use this for? Sometimes you wanna peek into a project, not just see its name, but you wanna see the stuff in it. And hey, we could even take the stuff that's here and I could drag this down. Right now we have this sequence open here, but if we opened up another sequence, we could drag this media down in here. So we're dragging that whole sequence in to this sequence. And to drag it in with all the separate pieces, you just make sure that this button is gray. We drag it in as all the pieces. If you have that selected and drag it in, then it's it's now a nested sequence. And now we've added all of this stuff in into our uh, project bin. So we can close that, go back to this one, and all of that media is in there. So it's easy not just to, to import complete projects, but you could peek inside, use the source monitor, and just pull the pieces out that you want. Always remember to resave, save, 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 once you start combining all of these projects together. This is set, like I said at the beginning, this is also a really good way to fix a problem project. It's the first thing you should ever do when you've, especially when you've worked on a project for weeks and weeks and it starts doing some weird things. There's a cache that, that uh, and I'll put a link uh, about cleaning your cache. Uh, so sometimes you just create a new project, import the old project, resave it as a new name, different version, and then you're off to the races and everything will be usually fixed uh, when you do something like that. So there you go. Pretty simple thing. But I get this question a lot. Hey, how do I, how do I combine multiple projects? Right through the media browser, you can combine clips, sequences, timelines, or the whole project. Hey, if you're new to Video Revealed and you have found this informative, and many of our tutorials informative, take a moment and subscribe. We really do appreciate it and it makes a huge difference to the channel. If you want to support us some more, you can do that on videoreveal.com slash shop where you can donate once, monthly, any amount. There's free stuff, there's a member section. You can reach out to me through the contact page and a lot of times when someone has a question, it ends up turning into a tutorial. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith and it's my job to give you the easy answers to something that might seem complicated, but it's pretty simple.